This video is going to show you how to change the diaphragm out of a Marais 10 liter tankless water heater. Always remember to shut off the gas and the water to your unit via the shutoff valve before attempting any repair on your unit. Once these supplies have been shut off, you can disconnect the lines if you want to remove the unit from the mounting position to work on it. First, remove the six Phillips head screws that secure the cover. There are four screws on top and two screws on bottom. Next, you will pull the knob straight away from the unit. Now, the cover can be removed and set aside. If your heater has a digital display, then you will need to disconnect the clips connecting the display to free your unit. Now, grab your drill or driver, preferably an impact driver with an 8 inch Phillips head bit, or add an extension to a 6 inch bit. If you don't have an impact driver, then you can warm the screws up by placing the tip of your screwdriver on the head of the screw and lightly tapping on the butt of the screwdriver handle. First, remove the batteries from your unit, and then remove the two screws that secure the battery compartment to the case to allow better access to the water valve assembly. The diaphragm is located in the bell housing of your brass water valve assembly. Start by removing the four screws that hold the water valve housing of the diaphragm together. Once these four screws are removed, you will want to remove the two screws that connect the heat exchanger tube to the water valve assembly. Finally, remove the two small screws that secure the water valve assembly to the bracket plate connected to the back of the unit. Slightly bend away the bracket from the valve to free up enough space to remove the loose half of your water valve assembly. If you remove the unit from the wall, you can leave the bracket connected to the water valve and remove them together by taking out the two screws from the back of the unit. Now you can carefully separate the water valve assembly and remove the old diaphragm. Please note, do not lose the small brass retaining collars. They are needed to be removed from your old diaphragm and inserted into your new replacement diaphragm. Now, to start reassembling the parts of your unit. Add a very small amount of petroleum jelly to the inner lip of the removed section of your water valve. This is to help hold the diaphragm in place as you reassemble the water valve and help preventing pinching the diaphragm. Please note, place the diaphragm into the water valve assembly correctly 
by placing the diaphragm with the concave side facing out of the removed half of your water valve assembly. If you removed your unit from the wall to work on it, then you will want to start the reassembly by slowly inserting the four housing screws without completely tightening them. Once all screws are in place, then go back and securely tighten them with your driver. Be careful that the diaphragm has not gotten pinched in between the two pieces of the water valve assembly and it is pushing out of the bell housing. If this happens, then loosen the housing screws, resituate the diaphragm, and retighten the screws. Next, remember to reinsert the two silver screws that attaches the tube from the heat exchanger to the water valve. Finally, reattach the water valve with the bracket attached to the case by reinserting the two screws from the back of the securing bracket. If you left your unit mounted on the wall, then you will repeat the same process, only you will need to reconnect the valve to the bracket having no access to the back of the unit.
Lastly, replace the two screws securing the battery compartment to the bottom of the case for your water heater. Replace the cover and reattach the knobs onto the valve stem of the unit. You want to reinsert your cover screws on the top and bottom. Don't forget to reattach your water lines and gas lines if you remove them in the beginning or to cut on your gas and water shutoff valves if you left the unit mounted.